Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Everything or Nothing. Unfortunately, last week, our contestant couldn't leave with everything. Had to go with nothing. So I hope on this show today, one of the contestants will go with everything. Um, before I introduce you uh, to our contestants um, on the show, um, if you want to participate in Everything or Nothing, contact us on the email address below. And um, now, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge question. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. Now let's meet the contestants. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Everything or Nothing. Thank you. Um, your name and uh, where you're from and if you want to tell us a bit about yourself. Um, my name is Muhib Rahman and I'm from a Silverton, London E16 okay. and I'm, I'm a owner of a little Indian restaurant. Okay. And this is it. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you for coming and all the best. Thank you. And um, your name and where you're from, I'm sure you don't need to introduce yourself. I'm sure <laughs> people know you, you're a known celebrity here. Um, I'm one of your fans also. So, um, thank you. Um, so, yep. My name is China Jodhri from Stratford, London. I'm a director of Tal Tarango and dance teacher, dance choreographer. Excellent. Well, thank you, Appa, for coming on the show. Thank you. All the best. And your name and uh, where you're from, and if you're not, tell us a bit about yourself. Yeah, my name is Mama Zakaria from Tower Hamlet. I'm just involved a little bit, Shisha. <laughs> That's all I can say, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, uh, That's it. thank you very much for coming, um, Zakaria. And uh, your name and um, where are you from? Um, my name is Ahmed Zarin Sriti mm. and I'm from Richmond mm -hmm. and I'm a radio presenter. Okay, Zarin, welcome to Everything Thank you. So now, Mohib, are you ready? So here it goes. <clears throat> How long have you been living uh, in the UK, in London? Uh, almost 30 years now. 30 years, okay. Um, have you ever taken the tube to anywhere in the underground? Yes, I did. Okay. I did, yes, sir. All right, then let's see um, how much um, you <laughs> can remember. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, do you still take the train or? Well, I haven't taken the train for the last three years now. Okay, Three, so four years, maybe. Okay, it's been a long time. Long time, long time. Yeah. Okay, let's see how much you can remember. Now, complete the iconic London phrase. Mind the A car, mind B, mind the gap, or C, mind the door. Mm, mind the gap. Mohib. Yeah. It's been three years you haven't been using the... London Underground. More than that, maybe three to four years. Three to yeah. four years. Yeah. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, <coughs> your first card is number one. Oh. Lucky. Lucky. Well, you don't have to get some I'll turn it around for you. There you go. Obviously, so it's one to 15, so you will say hi, so eight. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> <laughs> so, Janapa, do you get to watch any movies? I mean, I know you're very busy. Do you, do you get I chance do sometimes. To? You do sometimes? Okay. Now, let's see. Do you actually just watch the movie or do you really watch them? Let's, we'll find out now. In Marvel's The Avengers, which superhero carries a shield? A. Iron Man. B. Black Widow. Or C. Captain America. Which character in The Avengers carries a shield? Iron Man, Black Widow or Captain America? Just I have to guess because I didn't watch that movie. Ah. So I just guess uh, maybe A. A, you think it's Iron Man? Iron Man carries a shield? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, it's a very popular movies uh, it's yeah, a popular no, franchise it's still, yeah still and it's, it's, it's one of my favorite <laughs> character also but 
Well, she's busy, guys. You, you have to forgive her. She's a very busy lady. I know that for a fact. Well, um... It's the wrong word. Appa, you're wrong. It's Captain America. I know. I know. Because I, I didn't watch that movie, so... Yeah, we know that. We know that now. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, good try. Right. <clears throat> Zakaria. Yes, sir. Do you get to watch television by any chance? Cartoons <laughs> with your children? Or, I mean, this, this is... Yeah, lit yeah literally. Yeah? yeah, yeah, with my kids sometime. Yeah? Sometime, no. Yeah, sometime. Okay, all right then. With my you kids. know, th th there are some cartoons which grown-ups also watch. I mean, yeah. I still watch a lot of cartoons. Yes, yes. Um, I'm quite um, addicted to, like, I need to sort of watch them before yeah. I, I go to sleep. So anyway, which fictional characters' children are called Bart and Lisa? A. Fred Flintstone. B. Homer Simpson. Or C. Danger Mouse. Which fictional characters' children are called Bart and Lisa? So these are two children. Bart and Lisa, isn't and, it? And the father is, who is the father? Is it Fred Flintstone or Homer Simpson or Danger Mouse? I have to guess, my friend. <laughs> so, which one? I'm going for B. What was it, B? B is Homer Simpson. Yeah. You don't watch cartoon much, do you? <laughs> I used to be, but not now. No, no, I used to be. I used to be. Well, um... Zakaria, you guessed right. Well <laughs> Right. Your first card is six. Next one, higher or lower? Lawyer. Lower. Yeah. Lower and yes. Well done. Thank you. Ooh. Oh. You done. Uh, well, you played a character in a, recently you've done a character in a play. Yeah. I went to watch it and you played a very cold-hearted, uh, this cold-hearted wife you played. <laughs> horrible. You've been very horrible towards your husband, towards your mother-in-law, towards your father-in-law. So, um, are you like this in your real life? No, not at all. Huh? No. You sure? Yeah, I'm really, really sweet to them. Well, um, your family uh, is watching. Um, uh, they'll know. Yeah, well, they, they your, 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 yeah, yeah, they your husband, your in-law yeah, will know if you are how. And uh, I, I love my mother-in-law so much. So. I'm okay. Well, uh, only she'll. She can, only she can answer that. So, uh, anyway, here it goes. Mm. Good acting. I really liked your acting. Well done. Uh, thank you. Okay, now. Have you been outside of UK? Um, have you been mm. to America? No. You have been to America. Okay, you don't have to go to America to know this. Actually, it's quite popular. It's quite um, well. Let's see how much <laughs> how much you know. Which American city is known as the Big Apple? A. Austin, B. Chicago, or C. New York? Which city is known as the Big Apple? Big Apple. Yeah, the Big Apple. A, Austin, B, Chicago, or C, New York? Mm, Chicago, maybe? Is that your answer? No, New York. <laughs> I'll go for New York. Go for New York? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. I don't know why, but... Well... Hello. Zarin, you... All right. Okay, your first card. Ten. <coughs> Higher or lower? Lower. 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 Zarin said lower. Eight. Ah, no. Unfortunately, it's higher, Zarin. I'll have to change a card. Better luck next time. <clears throat> right. Mohib. On which continent would you find Nepal? Is it in Europe or Africa or Asia? So, on which continent would you find Nepal? A, Europe, B, Africa, or C, Asia? C, Asia. It's in Asia. Yeah. Nepal is in Asia. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Higher or lower?
higher. 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 Mohib is saying it's going to be high. Let's see. Well done. Geçen apa? The question is not about movie anymore. <laughs> Don't ask so me relax. that sort of question, which is I, you know. Well, um, <clears throat> you might know this answer actually. What is the second largest city in the UK? A. Manchester. B. Newcastle or C. Birmingham, which is the second largest city in the UK? I guess Birmingham. Birmingham. Birmingham is the second largest city in the UK? I think so. Well, you're right. Okay. <clears throat> Janapa, your first card is three. Now, next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. It's higher. Well done. No more cut on my friend, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Zakaria. Yes. Muslims are allowed four wives, yes? How many wives do you have? I have one. You have one wife? Yeah. You planning, you planning any more? No, no, no way. No way? No way. And why are you saying no way? Because no, man. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, you, you, I mean, it, it, do you, you don't want to get married, or you want wife on love, or I mean, you never thought about it. I, I never thought about it. You never thought no, about no. it. Okay. I'm happy with my wife. Are you happy with the wife? Yeah. Excellent. That's what I would like. We, what, what we would yeah. like to basically hear, of course. So now tell me, how many wives did Henry VIII have? A five, B six, or C seven? How many wives did Henry VIII have? So Henry the Eighth. Seven, isn't it? I don't no, know. No, no, that's not my A answer. five, B six, or C seven. So five, six, or seven. How many wives do you have? I think it's seven, my friend. Seven. Yeah. Seven wives. Yeah. I think seven would be too many to handle for Henry. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> King Henry. Um, he, he 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 had six. So you're wrong. Okay, now <coughs> come to Zareen. So Zareen, which actor plays the lead in the Terminator franchise? Which actor plays the lead in the Terminator franchise, the movie? A. Sylvester Stallone, B. Arnold Schwarzenegger, or C. Bruce Willis? B. B. Arnold. Yeah. Arnold. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, sure. Well, lock kar diya jaye. <laughs> lock? Yes. You're right. Right. <clears throat> Zareen, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Zareen said higher. And it's lower. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. God. Mohib. Easy one, please. Looks like you're doing quite well. Okay. You got three, uh, two more cards to go, then you'll be moving up to the next round. So now. Chemistry is an area of what? A, maths, B, science, or C, technology? Chemistry is an area of what? Maths, science, or technology? Science. Science. B, science. B science. And you're right. Thank you. <laughs> right. Your last number was 14. Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Let's find out. And it's hard. Oh dear God. Oh no. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Sorry, mate. Next, next one. Okay. More hard question. Okay. Now, Janaba. In Greek mythology, who is the god of sea? A. Eris. B. Poseidon. Or C, Apollo. Who is the god of sea? 
Ares, Poseidon or Apollo? Eris, Poseidon or Apollo? I think uh, A. A, Eris. The Greek mythology with the god of sea, you are saying it's Eris. Well, Apa, <laughs> I'll have to tell you that you're wrong. I know, Sorry, it's, because it, it, I don't know. It's Poseidon. Mm. <laughs> There's a world outside of dancing, you know. Yeah, well, I think you should explore, start exploring, watch more yeah, movies, yeah. read more books, uh, I think. So, yeah. Zakaria. Yeah, mate. No more wife things. <laughs> Are you in trouble now? Uh, yeah, I am, man. Okay, now. Tell me, what fictional creature is associated with the full moon? Is it A, vampire, B, werewolf, or C, troll? What fictional creature is associated with a full moon? Vampire, werewolf, or troll? I have to guess again, my friend. So it's so A, vampire, B, werewolf, or C, B troll? B is my lucky one. B is your lucky, <laughs> lucky one? B <laughs> has been lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, how would you feel that if I tell you that you're unlucky this time. How would you feel if I say that to you? I feel bad, innit? So, <laughs> make me happy, man. <laughs> make me happy. Well, if you put it that way, yeah. you're right. Wow. I told you, B is my lucky. <clears throat> wow. Right now, because your, your, it's 1 to 15, is, it's is already 1 to so Automatically, it's always higher, so your number no, is no, 9. So. <laughs> Zareen, the cold, heartless woman, huh? No, I'm not. Character, I mean, <laughs> yeah. character you played, I mean. I know you personally, you, you, you're a wonderful person. Personally, Thank uh, you. I know you, you're very kind and nice. Thank that, you. That's why it was quite shocking to see you play that horrible <laughs> character. Anyway, you've done well. In which sport Thank is you. the Ryder Cup played for? A, golf, B, cycling, or C, hockey? In which sport is the Ryder Cup played for? Golf, cycling, Cycling. Or? Ryder Cup is cycling. Yeah. Just because he said Ryder. Right <laughs> 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 is it true? <laughs> Ryder Cup, is it cycling. True? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you put it that way, it, 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 it right, should right. be, it should be, it should that be. That strong. It, it should be played, it should be Ryder Cup. I mean, cycling ride, uh, of course, it goes together. But unfortunately, you're wrong. It's golf. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> ah, Disaster. Okay. Muib? Yes. Well, unlucky guest last time. Let's see um, what happens now if you get this answer right, of course. What name is given to the Japanese art of paper folding? What name is given to the Japanese art of paper folding? A. Bonsai. B. Origami. Or C. Haiku. What name is given to the Japanese art of paper folding? A. Bonsai. B. Origami. Or C. Haiku. I'll go for Haiku. Looks like Japanese name. <laughs> that's that's it. This is straightforward. Haiku. Is I, it? Yeah. Bonsai doesn't sound like Japanese. It sounds like more, more like or, French. Ori, origami doesn't sound like. Origami. I don't know. I, I don't have a feeling for that. Sorry. So haiku. You can go for yeah. haiku. Haiku. Well, <clears throat> you should have. You should have taken B. <laughs> My one. <laughs> it's origami. Is it? <laughs> uh, you're wrong. Sorry. It's origami, yes. Um, and. Okay, Chanapa. In a Christian wedding, what color does the bride wear? A, pink, B, black, or C, white? What color? C, white, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you're right. It's a simple question. <laughs> now, <clears throat> 11. Is your lower. previous card lower? Go for lower. 
Turn up by saying Loa and if Loa, yes. Almost there. <laughs> Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Everything or nothing. Brought to you by Steamline Linen Services. Okay, now, Zakaria. Yes, ma'am. Tell me. No question about wives. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. going to ask you that. <laughs> So you can relax. I am relaxed. Go on. What is the capital of Greece? The capital of Greece, A, Olympus, B, Athens, or C, Corinthians? Athens. Athens? Yeah. You will go for B again? Yeah, man. Yeah, I have like to, one. yeah. That's my, C, that's my number. B that's, has that's been that, lucky that, for that, you, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? It is. Well, uh, you lucky once again. Well done. Thank you. <clears throat> Your previous card was nine. I'm going for lower now. Lower? Yeah. Zakaria is saying lower and eight. Ah. Unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. I have to change the card now. Right. Okay. Which toys were described as being robots in disguise? Which toys were described as being robots in disguise? A. Terminators. B. Transformers. Or C, Action Man. Which toys were described as being robots in disguise? Terminators, Transformers, or Action Man? Terminator. Terminator. Mm -hmm. Toy described as robots in disguise. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. So, no, you've answered it. You okay. can't change it now. <laughs> <laughs> you answered boldly, Terminators. <laughs> No, Lock uh, as I. <laughs> no, no, it's not. So like it, that. it's been locked. <laughs> you said it is locked. Okay. Now the thing is, but you already you answered it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is the answer not? was actually, well, the answer is to the Transformers. It wasn't Terminator. So, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, Wait. Yes. Which planet does Superman? come from? A. Vulcan, B. Krypton or C. Hoth? What is the option again? Which planet does Superman come from? A. Vulcan, B. Krypton or C. Hoth? A. So, Superman comes from Vulcan. Um, I'm sure you've seen Superman. I have not watched those. Sorry. You haven't watched Superman? No. Which plan do you come from? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have the time to watch, believe me. You never had the time. Even no. in childhood, you're telling me you never had the time to watch Superman. No, no, I never watched. I, I wasn't interested in those sort of things. You was never interested in those no. sort of things? No. Well, well today, that could have um, given you a chance to basically go on the guessing wall because you're wrong. Superman well, comes from I have no regret, sorry. Yeah. Comes from Krypton. <clears throat> Shut up. Which chess piece can you only move in the diagonal line? No, A. Knight, B. Bishop, or C. Pawn. Which chess piece can you only move in a diagonal line? Do you play chess? Yeah. You play. Then you probably know the answer. Then. Which yeah. piece you can move only in diagonal line? A. Knight, B. Bishop, or Bishop, C. B. B. Bishop. Yes, you do pick this. You're right. Okay. <clears throat> About your last number was four, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. And it's higher. Yes. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'm not going to ask you any more. Any more. The fairy godmother features in which classic fairy tale? A. Cinderella, B. Rapunzel, or C. Red Riding Hood? I'm going for B, my friend. I don't You're going to go for B again, <laughs> Rapunzel? Yeah, my friend. No, no matter what. Huh? Yeah. The fairy godmother features in which classic fairy tale? And you said it's Rapunzel. No, it's Cinderella. So B hasn't, hasn't favored this time. Not all the time. <laughs> you can guess right. all the time. <laughs> Zareen, 
Have you been to Egypt? No. I think after this question, I think you probably <laughs> want to go to Egypt. Then. Right. Okay. What is the official language of Egypt? A. Egyptian. B. Arabic or C. English. What is the official language of Egypt? A. Egyptian. B. Arabic or C. English. Official. Official language of Egypt. So, they speak Egyptian. Or, I don't know, <laughs> they speak Egyptian or official is different. You have to take a guess. I'll go for Arabic. Arabic. The official language of Egypt, e Egypt Egyptian. Is, is Arabic, you say? No, Egyptian. No, you can't change like that. No. <laughs> okay, first, first okay. okay. Egyptian or Arabic, which one? Egyptian. Egyptian. So in Egypt, people speak Egyptian. Yeah. <laughs> in well. Bangladesh, people will speak. Bengali. Bengali. Yeah. Bengali. So in Egypt, they should speak Egyptian. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, like, that's a very logical, that's a very answer. logical answer. Well, I'm afraid you're wrong, Zarin. They speak Arabic. So my answer was that. My answer was so that you, Arabic. You make you confused, innit? Yeah, you make me confused. I, I, I did make you confused. No, you you were confused. You, I, I, I even give you the option. So basically, answer it correctly. So you oh, chose. No. You went for Egyptian. I didn't say that. You said Arabic. I said. Uh, then you change your mind. I said, don't change your mind. No, you didn't, didn't say, say that. that. He didn't no, you didn't that. say that. I, I said, yeah. He didn't I, say I, that. It just made you confused. Anyway, anyway, I you're thought wrong. <clears throat> I'm not wrong. <laughs> right. I said, you're right. Confused. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not good. Well, you, you got it no. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good, well, in what it's country? Right, okay. Now, in what country would you find a koala? A, Russia, B, Australia, or C, Sudan. What country would you find a koala? Russia, Australia, or Sudan? Koala. Yes, koala. It's a koala bear. Which country would you find koala? Russia, Australia, or Sudan? Sudan. Well, again, I have to guess. I don't know the correct answer. I have to guess again. Okay. Uh, I'll go for... You went for B, so I'll go for C this time. <laughs> Let me see why. <laughs> you want to go for C? <laughs> yeah. Sudan. Yeah. So koala is found yeah. in Sudan. You're wrong. It's Australia. You should have went for B. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, Apa. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry to ask you the question. No, uh, if you don't know, don't ask me. <laughs> no, I have to. I have to ask you. Who sang the theme of? Who sang the theme song to the James Bond movie Skyfall? A. Sam Smith. B. Tina Turner. Or C. Adele. Tina Turner. Tina Turner sang theme song for James Bond movie Skyfall. Appa, you're wrong. It's Adele. You went for B, didn't you? <laughs> Zakaria. Yes, my yes, my give us an easy one, man, please. This is this is very easy. Okay, let's see. I, I, let's even see. a kid will know. Okay, let's see. They watch more than us. You it, know? It's so easy. Go on. Your children will know the answer definitely. In the children's story, who is who is Peter Pan's arch enemy? A. Blackbeard. B. Captain Hook. Or C. Rufio. What's the question again? In the children's story, who is the Peter Pan's arch enemy? Like enemy? Who's Peter Pan's enemy? A. Blackbeard. B. Captain Hook. C. Rufio. Captain Hook, I think. Captain Hook. Yeah. You stick with the B. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not stick with the B. But, but uh, Captain Hook, I'm just. You, yes, Cap Captain Hook. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be. Captain Hook, I think, is you, the right answer. You will be. Tonight when you go home, your children will love you. Yes, it's <laughs> Well done. Thank you. Right. <clears throat> third one. Third one, please. <laughs> your, <laughs> yeah. third, third yeah. your number was nine. Yeah. I'm going for now. High or lower? You tell me. <laughs> I can't tell you. Huh? You don't know, though, innit? He it? doesn't know. Huh? I don't know. Yeah, you doesn't know, though. You no, I have no idea. Huh? You go for B, innit? <laughs> <laughs> There's an option, though, innit? A, A is higher, B is lower. <laughs> the last time I'm going for lower, but that was a higher. So I'm going for lower again. You go for lower? Yeah. 
Zakaria is saying Loa. Can it? Loa, well done. Well done. Okay, now, I'm going to clearly ask you and give me a clear answer. <laughs> okay? One answer, not two or three, one. I missed two because of your, you know, yeah. thingy. Like, he just, yeah, he just made me so confused. Like, I said, okay, you know. I'm, <laughs> well, this time, I will make I think I should change um, my answer. Is, I, very simply, I'll ask you the question. What is the capital city of Germany? Oh. What is the capital city of Germany? Is it A, Berlin? B, Hamburg, or C, Frankfurt. Think clearly and take your time and answer the question. A, Berlin, B, Hamburg, or C, Frankfurt. Berlin. Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> See, he's making me confused again. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. Have I said that? No, 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 no. I have a said that. Well, you're right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, yes, this is your lower. first card, higher or lower? Lower. Lower. And it's... Oh, oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. Oh, dear God. Uh, unlucky. Please, uh, unlucky. next time, next time, suggest something for me. <laughs> something related with sports, football, you know. Things I just say, but I was wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, well, it's not up to me, you see. No, it, no, it's no, a producer no. yeah, yeah. and my assistant producer. They devise all this and they put the line up in the questions. And uh, yeah, so um, the questions are not up to me. So I have I'm going to go. go for B anyway. So go please for <laughs> Which famous wrestler's real name is Dwayne Johnson? A. The Undertaker. B. The Rock. Or C. John Cena. Which famous wrestler's real name is Dwayne Johnson? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne, yeah. Famous wrestler's name is Dwayne Johnson. His name is Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. So, um, it was a wrestler. Is it A, The Undertaker, B, The Rock, or C, John Cena? Last time I guessed C was wrong. B was right. Because I don't know what wrestling is. You have to guess again. Yeah. But Take Rock... a wild guess. Uh, uh, Rock is... <laughs> Knocking me on rock. Rock is knocking you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no hurt or anything. No, no, no. no. Okay, go, you go for rock. Yeah. And you're right. Thank you. No, fast on. Fast on. Right. Right. It, you got 14, so higher or lower? Lower. I'm going to go for lower this time. Lower. Yes. Lower and it's lower. Well done. Disaster. <laughs> Which killer was known as the Whitechapel murderer? A. Sweeney Todd. B. Jack the Ripper. Or C. Ian Brady. Which killer was known as the Whitechapel murderer? Sweeney Todd, Jack the Ripper, or Ian Brady? B. B, Jack the Ripper, and you're right. Yeah, but you have you have seven in your previous card. You guess this right, then you go to the next higher. level. Higher. Higher. Chanapa is saying higher, and it's higher. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, you are going on to next level. Ladies and gentlemen, China Chodri has gone to the next round. Now we're coming back to our contestant here. We have Mohib, we have Zakaria, and we have Zareen. So Zakaria, it's your turn now. So now tell me. Yeah. Which series of boxing films stars Sylvester Stallone? A, Ricky, B, Rocky, or C, Randy? Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. B again. Again B. Yeah. And you're right. Okay, now. So I'm going for card. a higher, higher. It's your last card. Yeah, that should be so higher. So if you get it right, you go to round two. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to go for higher. Uh, yeah. Higher, the career thing is higher, and it's... <sighs> Sorry. I don't have any 13, 14 here. 
Ene, look. Serene. Now, tell me, which country's flag is a red circle on a white background? Which country's flag is a red circle on a white background? Is it A, Jamaica, B, Austria, or C, Japan? Japan. Japan. Look. Yeah. Japan's flag has red circle on a white background. Thanks, yes. Yeah? You think so? Yes. <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> after a long time. Huh? Okay, now it seems like... Why after long time? You, uh -oh. you haven't... Okay, start to yes, something. Any card right yet, so... No, man. Tell me, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. Then you say higher, and let's see if it's higher. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. <laughs> yes. What's wrong with me? You're on the last card. What's wrong with me? Yeah. No, what's wrong with me? Okay, right, guys, ready? And, we have to tell me. What is the longest key on a computer board? A, caps lock. B, space bar. Or C, enter. Which is the longest key on a computer board? Computer keyboard. Off one again. A, caps lock, B, spacebar, or C, enter. Which key on a keyboard is the longest? Well, I mean, uh, it's often B anyway. Space. Spacebar. Yeah. You're right. <coughs> right. Low, 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 low. Lower? Yeah, lower. So you win this, you're going yeah. to round two. Yeah, I'm going to join China for. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's lower. Yeah. Lower? Let's find out. And it's lower. Yes. Well done. Well done. Thank you. So, Zakaria, that means you won't be going um, next round, of course. So we have two contestants. So well done. Thank you very much Thank for you. coming. Zareen, well played. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, you have um, been um, quite unlucky with the um, with the cards. So uh, thank you for coming anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on round two right now and I would like to call Chana Chaudhary up here, please. Chana Chaudhary, please come up. Your right foot or left foot, whichever foot you want to put on the cross. Yes, here are the darts and that's the dart board. And try to achieve the high score. Seven. Nine. Seven, nine and six. Well, nearly, nearly you hit the bullseye, nearly, yes. So you have seven, nine, and six, which totals up to 22. So well done. Now, please have a seat. And Muhib, please come up. Hello. Your foot here. In here. The darts. Yeah. And the dartboard. You have to beat 22. Six. Five. Nine. Six, five. I'm sorry, it's eight. Six, eight, and five. You have scored six, eight, and five, which totals up to 19, I'm afraid. Never mind, you have um, another round yeah. to. Um, Let's go higher. So please have a seat. Chana Chaudhary, please come up. You, you get uh, two rounds, you see. Ah, okay. So you've done 22. Now let's see how much. Okay, six, four, eight, six, four, and eight, which totals up to 40. So 40. Well done. Please have a seat. Chana Chaudhary has scored. 40 altogether on her both of the rounds. Mohib has scored on his first round 19. He needs 22 to beat China Chaudhary. Now let's call him up and see if he can beat her or not. Please come up. 
you need to score more than 22. Actually, yeah, you need to score 22 to beat her. Yeah, so. Did you be back? That's fine. Seven. Seven. And five. Mohib, you scored 19 on this round, which equals to altogether 38. So I'm afraid uh, we'll have to say goodbye to you. Thank you for coming. China Chaudhary has made it to the final round. Now let's see if she goes with everything or like previous contestant that we had, two contestants we had, who left with nothing. We'll soon find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final round of Everything or Nothing. China Chaudhary has made it to the finals. And let's see if she goes with everything or leave with nothing. I hope she goes with everything. China Chaudhary, welcome to the final round. Now, all you have to do is guess the numbers. If you guess them right, all of them right, you walk away with everything. Two surprise gifts you have. On every card you get, get right, you'll win a prize. And on the final card, there's Bigger price, of course, meal for four. So now, <clears throat> <coughs> let's see. Your first card, I will turn, and it's seven. Now, next card, higher or lower? Higher. Higher. China, Chaudhary is saying it's higher. It's higher. Well done, Appa. Next card, higher. Or lower? Higher. Higher. Higher and it's oh. oh. <laughs> I'm afraid you will have to live with nothing, Appa. I'm so sorry. That's a trick, you know. Well it's <laughs> chances were it, it was low actually, but um, I mean, no, um, doesn't it's, matter. it's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's just luck, basically. So yeah. I have to say goodbye to you. Thank you. It's sad to see China Chaudhary has lost in the final rounds and she will have to go home with nothing. Well, this is the show. It's called Everything or Nothing. So until the next show, goodbye, take care, and hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs>